Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a close look at the Mercedes EQS 580 at Mercedes-Benz Laguna Niguel. So this is the Mercedes-Benz EQS 580. This is the uptrim model of the Mercedes-Benz EQS 450 and 450 Plus. This model does have a 107.8 kilowatt hour electric battery pack and it has 340 miles of range down from the 350 in the EQS 450 Plus. But because it is a little bit more powerful than the EQS 450 Plus, you are gonna get that 10 mile range decrease. This is essentially the electric version of the S-Class. So let's take a look. The EQS 580 does have a unique feature that isn't available in a lot of vehicles, and that is a specific exterior port for the window washer fluid. Many vehicles today have this port within the engine bay itself, slash under the hood. You don't have to do that in this vehicle. You simply click this button right here, and you have space for your washer fluid to be inserted. So as this is an electric vehicle, you're not gonna find any sort of grill. It's just the front fascia filled with Mercedes' beautiful star emblem, as you can see in a repeated pattern. It's really gorgeous. Then up front, you have a front view camera for parking purposes, which is a really nice feature. You'll find this on many cars nowadays that are coming out the lot. And you do have your front parking sensors. So this is a great vehicle for safety purposes, as well as understanding where you are when you're parking. So one of the nice features about the new EQS from Mercedes is that it does have door handles that are akin to the Tesla Model S. So when I open them, you'll see that they do pop out, which is a wonderful, nice feature. So the first thing that you notice in the core is that it does have a beautiful door panel. So it has this nice wood trim here. It extrudes outwards. This is a very nice touch that it has here with red stitching. It's very gorgeous. It does have power adjustable driver door settings. So it does have a memory setting. So if you have three different positions that you'd like for it to recall on a moment's notice, you're able to have that embedded within the programming of this vehicle, depending on who's driving the car. So that's a very nice touch. Let's get in the driver's seat and let's take a closer look. Shall we? So I'm going to go ahead and turn the vehicle on. So the nice thing about this is that it has three separate screens. The first screen is for the driver, and that's essentially gives you the uh, regenerative braking specifications. It tells you how much power you're using, it also tells you how much range you have, and it tells you your speed. So the normal driver-centric features can be ha found right in front of the steering wheel. So that's a wonderful thing. You also have a beautiful center console display, and that's more for your infotainment. So if you want to control your AC, if you want to control your fan speed, and you want to look at your sat nav, you're going to find that on this beautiful giant screen that's in the center. Now the screen in front of the passenger, that's for the passenger only. So if the driver is looking at that screen, the Mercedes system will detect that when the driver is driving this vehicle and it will actually dim this display so the driver is not distracted by this third tertiary display. The interior of the car does have two USB-C ports, which is very, very nice, and you have extra storage right in this compartment with an additional two USB-C ports. You do have key wireless charging right up here in front that relies on inductance and two cup holders, which is very, very nice. The EQS 580 offers a ton of space and storage beneath this flying buttress here, and you're able to store whatever you'd like. It doesn't have any wireless charging down here, but it does offer wireless charging for your phone of any size up here in this upper compartment that does close, which is a nice feature. Then on the inside of this car, let's talk about the panoramic roof. We do have a solid piece of glass that goes from the front driver's side to the midsection of the car, and then a small piece of glass in the rear. And so it's not a floating, in totality, one strip piece of glass that you might see in a Tesla Model S, but it does have two separate panoramic roofs within the vehicle, extending all the way to the rear. So this is a very nice feature of the car. So as option, Mercedes has equipped this vehicle with ambient lighting that goes around the perimeter of the door sills, as well as these little intricacies on the AC vents itself. So another thing with the ambient lighting is you are able to increase the brightness of the lights. So if you want them super bright, you can do that. And if you want them super dim or off, you can set them to be off as well. So it's really up to you, the driver, depending on what you want to do. 
So within the vehicle, you're able to set 64 different colors. So if I wanted to set this as a green, I can set it as a green. If I want it to be yellow, it can be a yellow. And it does perform all around the interior of the car through this curved extruded door handle here, as well as the upper setting of the door frame. One other thing that's really neat about this vehicle upon turning it on is that the ambient lighting actually surrounds the perimeter of the seats themselves on both the passenger and the driver. So this is ambient lighting in the form of LED strips that surrounds the seat. So when you're driving at night, it looks like you're in a nightclub. It's very, very cool. So within the EQS 580, you are able to have very, very cold air come out of the seat backs and into your back, which is a nice feature on a hot day. And the way you do that is just go into the menu, select first row of seats, select this button, and you have cold air coming out of the seat, which is very, very nice on a hot day here in Southern California. You're able to select this for the passenger seat as well by just clicking that button. And then they have, so have wonderfully cold air coming out of the seat back to ensure that you have no sweat on a long drive. So the EQS 580 has plenty of leg room in this vehicle. I'm 6'3", so as you can see, I have a ton of leg room between me and the front. So another other addition is that you also have climate controls in the rear. Take a look at this. You have a digital display with heating and cooling. So you can cool your seats and you can cool the posterior area. So that's a very nice feature that the Mercedes EQS 580 allows for. So plenty of leg room. It's also very, very comfortable. The seat back cushions here are very, very comfortable in terms of resting your neck on a long drive. You can just sort of relax and forget about your troubles. So this is a very, very good car for that. The EQS 580 does have exterior cooling in the rear seating. So if you see the door panel right here, we do have cooling here and it's a nice feature that not a lot of vehicles have. So that's a nice touch. So you do have a lot of storage here in the EQS 580. I could probably curl up and fit right inside. So there is a substantial amount of storage. If you come around over here and take a look at the side pockets, you do have additional storage down here and storage up front as well as these seats do pop open, creating what is in instance a hatchback vehicle. In the EQS 580, it does offer a power lift mechanism on the trunk. So you just simply click that and then it shuts automatically. A wonderful feature. Overall, this is a great buy at $125,000 with all the creature comforts, power, and range at 340 miles that you get with this vehicle. So we'll see you next time and take care everybody.